in this video we're going to play with the legend here we're going to position it to the right side and have some space additional here between and you can see here by doing that we have to readjust the clickable area however we make sure that this clickable area will respond fully on this entire column here or this line here so let's start to explore how we can play around with the legend so let's start to look how to add space to the legend at the right side in Chart.js. So to do this, first of all, we need to go to the Chart.js tree.com getting started link. And this link you can also find in the description box. Scroll down here, copy this entire chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video. Then I'm going to paste this all in here and then I will cut out the title here, put the title in there, save that, refresh. All right, so now we have a bar chart. First thing what I want to do is to put the legend at the left, at the right side. So I'm going to scroll down here in the plugins or in the options. Then here I'm going to say plugins. I'm going to select here the legend object. So basically with this, we can now start to reposition it at the right side. So what I want to say here, uh, very simple, I say position, right? And this is a string value. If I save this now, Refresh, you can see you're now we're on the right side, but let's push it up. And there is a comma here, and we say here a line uh, that should be start. There we are. So now we have those. And what we want to do next is start to make this space bigger because you can imagine maybe you want this bigger or we'll have some space here between. So, how do we do this? Well, first of all, we need to create a new plugin. To do that, we go in the options here, or at least in the options uh, curly braces. We put a comma there, and then we say here plugins. And then we go to say here, well, we can say here uh, legend extra space. It doesn't matter, you can say anything you want. I'm just going to give it something simple and descriptive. So next, I want to say here constant. This, and what I want to do here, just to make sure, slash slash this plugin block. So we have the description. So we have here the constant legend, extra space, and they say ID is identical, although we don't use this for now because basically uh, this will be only necessary if we're going to do something with the options, but in this case we won't be using this. And then we're going to say here the following. We're going to say here when would we like to start doing this. And basically here we're going to talk about timing, so we need to do here after init, which means after initialization we want to recalculate and then draw afterwards. Why? Because it will first initialize to calculate all the variables. Then you want to do after that, we calculate one more time with our updated variables. And then finally, we will draw. This is very important. If you will do it after the drawing, the drawing means that the chart already is on paper or on the screen. In that case, readjusting it, it can be done, but you need to update it. And we don't want that. We want it immediately once it loads, it should load fully with the adjusted settings that we want. So we say after initialization, and what I want to do here is the following. I'm going to say a chart and an arcs and options. The first, the first one is important. The other two are not important in our case. We won't be using them. But if you want to understand this option, it's related to this. And it's basically for the, if you would have it, a, a plugin with the options object in here. Anyway. We won't be using that, so it doesn't matter. And I have other videos if you want to understand that. So next, what I want to do now is I want to, first of all, show you what I want to adjust. So let's get this chart here, put this in there, save that, and refresh. Open the developer tab. You can see here now we have the DN, which is basically all the variables of our chart, or basically of our canvas that's been drawn. And then here we scroll down here and we look at legend. And this is very important because in the legend we will get a lot of information and what we really want to do here, we want to extend this part here. You can see here the legend, specifically the legend, has a width of 136 pixels, which is basically from here to there. And then if you look at it, the left side, the left would be 563 plus plus. And basically, if you add left plus the uh, width, where is the width? Uh, no, this one here, you should come out on 700. So basically, our canvas is 700, you can see this as well. Our canvas is 700 in width, but the starting point of the uh, legend is here, that's approximately a pixel of 563, and that width here would be 136. So this is very important. So that would mean that 
this here, basically, from here to here, 563 pixels is your chart area that's being drawn. So that's this uh, chart block here, basically till this line here. That's the width. So what we want to do now is we want to extend basically the uh, width of our legend so that the left side would be declining by 100 pixels. So you make our width 100 pixels bigger. So we, we will reduce the left side by 100. We, that would mean we're going to move here more. So we have more space and maybe we, one of these parts, the chart will become smaller. So let's start to work on that. So to do that, basically what I need to do is, this is why we're doing after initialization. It basically means we're going to calculate and then recalculate based on one of these previous uh, values. So basically you must see it like this. Let's say we have, uh, uh, let's say left would be equal to, to 100 of 563. And what we want to do then is we have this value and then after in it, so after, in it we will say we want to do minus 100 on that so it will be 463 so that will be the new recalculated value so that's what we're really doing and to do this we're going to use the bind value so uh, to do that as well what we also need to know is here in the legend we know we need to know where is it being calculated and it's being calculated in the legend or chart.legend.fit so if i refresh now we get here now this functionality and it's the function here which calculates, as you can see here, the width, the height, all these values here. All right, so I will just undo that one and go back to the controller. So you can see you get all these values here. What I want to do then is, whatever the width is or the value, we update this with a new value that we're going to assign right now. So what I'm going to say here, first thing is, we're going to say here, chart.legend.fit. Then we say here, this will be function, fit which is basically the function we want and then this function here what we're going to do in here I'm going to say the following because we need to grab this here so I can just grab this or we can even give this a short hand so it's a constant this equals oh sorry constant fit value which would be the updated value will be equal to this very important here we might say oh can we then just copy this and replace that no for some reason if you do that, it will not work. So don't do that. So we have to do specify this individually like this. So then what I'm going to say here, fit value, which is the reference of this, dot, and then uh, we're going to say here, bind. Bind is basically combining whatever the value is plus a new value and calculate them together or replacing that value. So that's what we're going to do here. So what we're going to say here, of bind value, parentheses, we're going to say here, chart, dot legend and I'm going to use here another parenthesis like this semicolon and then what we want to do here is the following I'm going to grab here the let value of width and the width will be now this width which is whatever that width was and that is if a number say 136 and then we're going to say here 136 plus equal 100 pixels making the width bigger so the left side starts earlier so then we have this and then what we can do here now is we can say return the width. Once I save this, refresh, you can see here now we have a bigger space here. What we could do here maybe is make this point nicer. But what I want to do here is also this moving here. So let's do that one right now. So those two are together anyway. So in the legend, I'm going to put here a comma and then I'm going to say here the following labels. And in the labels, I'm going to use the following. I'll say here, text. Then we say align. I'm going to push this to the right side. So if I save that, refresh. All right. So now we have this huge space. Of course, most likely you want to do it like this. And sadly enough, we cannot push this like this. I have another video for that. I'll show you at the very end how we can play around with this. We say trick. It's basically a trick. So then what I want to do here, just to make it a bit more nice, we're going to say here, uh, we're going to use a point style. And this point style will be equal to circle, comma, and then we're going to say use point style to indicate that we're now using a different shape instead of the standard rectangle. Refresh. There we are. So that looks beautiful. And we have this now ready here. So what I want to do now is the following, and that's the last item. You can see if I click here, that's fine. But what happens if I click here? I'm clicking now on the place where I suppose or expect this item. 
to disappear. But if I click here, it's fine. But there, it just doesn't respond to the on-click functionality. So that's what we're going to solve here now. That's the final item here. So what I'm going to say here is the following. I'm going to say here, enter. Say let, and then we can just give this a proper name. Let's say click effect. And what we're going to do here is work on a specific item. And let me show you first where that item is located, which makes probably a lot more sense. So then what I'm going to say here is the following. Save that, console log, refresh, click on this. And then let's look where do we find this. And what we need to do is we need to grab here the legend hitboxes. And the legend hitboxes right now is basically the calculation of the clicking effect here. And what we want to do now, and this is only, we have only one legend hitbox. It starts at left 501. So is that correct? So if you're going to go down here, we should see here the new left. It's being recalculated. Where is the left? 409, uh, 91. So I guess that's, there's about maybe eight pixels. You can see eight pixel space, and then it works. So this is fine. But the problem here is this here. You can see here the width is our issue, and the width, is not anymore here. So what I want to do here is to reassign the width. And what I'm going to do is just add here, instead of 188 or 88, we're going to do 88 plus whatever we have added up. Remember, we added up only 100. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say here, uh, let click effect. And this let click effect will be this dot. And then we're going to look for where do we have to go? We have to go here into the legend hitboxes all right so let's grab this one put it in there and this is very important because we only have one item now we say legend hitbox zero index zero and then you say that with plus equal 100 save that and then of course here this is very important to return we're not allowed to return uh, with concatenation but we are allowed to return basically with an object array, or sorry with an array so we have to make this an array I'm going to put in these two save that refresh and now if I click as you can see here works beautiful so and then if you click here yes everything works so what I want to show you the final one is what happens if we have another data set so if you have another data set we need to work on the array that I showed you just so let's say here we have sales uh, weekly profits and then we're just going to give this a different color. Save, refresh. All right, so now we have this. We click on this, it's all fine. And when I click here, we have the same issue. What's the issue or why? Remember, we have this array here. So what we need to do here is it's basically a for loop, a quick for loop here. And this for loop will do the following. We say for loop, we say I, uh, let I equals zero, because we have index zero here and then what i want to do here is of course to push in all these values together so how will we do this uh, let's see here so once we have this what i need to do here is we're going to grab the length here this is very important we're going to grab this we say we will look through this i and then we say this dot legend hitboxes dot length meaning how many we have if we have two items it should work on both items so we have this, I'm going to loop this, but of course this here is an array, say index i. So once we have this, what I want to do here is probably we can just, maybe we can cut this out. We will say here, um, the uh, click width, because we need to grab this later on. I'll just say here, click effect let will be an array, which is blank for now. Then here, once we have the click width, what we want to do here then is we say click effect, copy that, put in there, dot push. So what we're really doing is we're going to, we have this blank array, we have here this loop, and well, let's see here, we have the for loop, so this is a bit mess. It's a I plus plus, that's it. All right, I'm just going ahead of myself. Let's organize that a bit more better. There we are. So what we really did was for every item, we need to reassign or recalculate the width. And this is, of course, like what we have here is an array. So that's why here with the legend items, we need to reassign and indicate for each, or sorry, the hitbox for each the width. 
so now we have all of this so what we are going to push we're going to push this new value in there so if i save this now refresh all right click here that works click here that works click here that works as you can see here now it's everywhere clickable and this is also one of the options here of course not always very desirable to have a lot of space here we can change that by changing the item here for example here what i would do here is maybe in this case this we can soft code it a little bit more by saying uh, constant uh, i guess the width label i would just give it a width label and then we say yes here 50 pixels this width label we want to put in there put in there save that there we are now we have them all together and this is another way of playing around with the legend so if you enjoyed this video or maybe you want to change your legend structure differently from this for example this uh, these dots here should be more closer in this case i would recommend you to explore this one here how to add the margin right on the legend in charge yes we have a different structure but i'm telling you immediately you can see the square here or the shape is at the right side instead of left side if we go back to our video here so i'm using here a different structure so but this is interesting if you want this is one of the other ways to play around with margins